ACR Virtual Edge step-by-step -step install. Now that we have our VM ready to install the plugin, let's go ahead and install the plugin in vCenter. The next thing that needs to be done is to look in the directory where I downloaded the deploy.cfg file and let's take a look at it and we need to fix these over here based on this particular vCenter and the thumbprint let's go ahead and modify this deploy.cfg file okay i modified the deploy.cfg file with the passwords the vcenter host name the username and the password and then the plugin section has the zip url 165.1.10 is this vm and then this is the zip file for the plugin and i have to put the thumbprint in here so for the thumbprint let me go get it first so I need to go here and then more information and view certificate and this here is my thumbprint and I put in the thumbprint from there to this file and once I'm done with saving the file I run the Python script deploy plugin.py with the deploy.cfg parameter file and it's checking to see if there's an exist existing version of the plugin it did not find an existing version and it installed the new version Looking at the vCenter, I don't see the plugin here, but you have to actually log out and log back in again. And once you're logged back in, you go to home. On vCenter and there is the Cisco ACI fabric icon and you can see that over here also now the other thing that you might want to check in case you were having any issues is the events and you click on events and then you go on the filter and you type in plugin and if you notice it tells you that the plugin was installed a little bit earlier today. Uh, there is one more thing that I'd like to show you, and that is what we call the managed uh, uh, ma managed object browser. And uh, let me log into it from here. So you put the vCenter IP with MOB man managed object browser and hit enter and you'll come up to that then you hit content then you go to extension manager and you do more and over here you can see that the ACI plugin and there, there was one more plugin that went with that those two plugins were there in case you wanted to remove a plugin uh, what you would do is you would click on this you would copy the name of the plugin like this and then you would go back and then you would say unregister extension and then you would type put that in there and then you would hit the invoke method I'm not going to do that now but once you do that uh, it will churn for a while and then you will see something it will come and say void something something and uh, it's kind kind of looks like nothing happened but it actually removes that plugin 
and then if you go back here and you uh, go and refresh your browser and you go look here you'll see that that plugin is gone so that's how you can remove a plugin again you have to log out and log back in into vCenter to see that the plugin is gone now let me uh, click on ACI fabric over here and connect VCI to your ACI fabric and there is currently no ACI fabric registered to this plugin do you want to add one yes and uh, there you go and it's adding it and it also discovered the other two apics so there you go now I have the ACI fabric uh, registered with the vCenter plugin so from vCenter I can actually see uh, all the ACI, ACI stuff So uh, I'm going to stop this here and we are pretty much done installing the uh, vCenter plugin and registering the plugin with vCenter. So now the next topic would be to actually start installing the AVS. Uh, now obviously this took a long time and the reason for that is that we installed the CentOS uh, uh, VM from scratch and set it up to be able to do that. Chances are that the customer might already have a HTTPS server and all you have to do is put it in there and then run that script. Again, you need to you do need to check on your Python version to make sure that it will work. Now that we are done installing the ACI plugin for vCenter, let's move on to the next module. Here, we will mount an NFS volume that we will create from CentOS. We will then use this volume for the content library from vCenter. Last minute addition. Due to people asking for this, we have included section three. In section three, we are going to demonstrate microsegmentation with AVE for both PXLAN based EPG and VLAN based EPG. Now please move on to the next module of this training.